What's up guys, got another video review for you. This time we're taking a look at iGear's UFO, also known as uh, Classics uh, Cosmos. So here we have him on his display stand that he comes with. Uh, a lot of people were complaining about this because they were getting theirs broken. Mine seems okay. No, mine didn't come broken. Um, I do agree that it's stupid to have this tilt. But anyway, um, he does come with this stand and it does allow him does allow you to show him flying in flight. I wish it would bend forward this way instead of side to side like this, but what are you going to do? Um, just a stand. You can always get another one. Um, it also does allow you to store his gun, which we'll take a look at in a little bit. Uh, yeah, nothing crazy about the stand. So let's just take him off real quick. He just pegs in right here on the bottom. So what you want when you take it off, hold this joint and then pull it straight off. Okay, so we're just going to put the stand to the side. Okay, so taking a look at him, he is supposed to be uh, Cosmos, so there's G1 Cosmos. As you can see, the color is a lot different. This guy is much, much, much lighter, and Cosmos is much darker, but again, like every other G1, ugh, okay, sorry, you know, this was a Japanese Takara figure first. Um, this guy came with wheels. This guy doesn't. Uh, but yeah, he's he's pretty simple to come, to uh, transform, much like Hench. Um, he does suffer from the same problem as Hench, being he feels like a small toy that was blown up. Um, put him off to the side right now. As you can see, he's got the same red button on the top, which will be the head. Uh, much more detailed thrusters here. Obviously, it's a much more detailed figure. Uh, this one takes a lot more liberties than, say, Hench, in terms of upgrading him and you know bringing him to the 21st century. We'll put him off to the side for now. We'll take a look at UFO. So let's transform him real quick. There's a lot of cool detailing, a lot of these vents in the middle. These thrusters are really cool. I do really dig him aesthetically. So to transform him, we start with the back. You want to split the back between the thrusters and just kind of get this whole section. Oh, those are, that's not right. What are you doing? What are you doing? That's not right. That's wrong. The front. Split it at the cockpit and bring them down. And these are going to be the legs. And you just want to bend them forward so that the cockpit pieces are in the front. And then you fold down the feet. And these are very, very stiff. And then you flip out the heels like that. Same thing over here. Fold out the foot. Flip out the heel. Now on mine, when he came, the feet were reversed. The right foot, the right foot was on the left, and the left foot was on the right. So this is a semi-common problem. It is not life-threatening. It is not that big of a deal. All you do is you go in here and there's two screwdrivers. Screwdrivers. Two screws here on either side. You take, unscrew those. You pull these straight out. Take the foot off. Do it on both sides. Make sure you know which one is which. Swap them. Slide them back on. Screw them back together. And you're fixed. It's really not that big a deal. The problem is that they're angled so that they sit flat. They stand, it makes them stand flat. And if they're on the wrong foot, they'll be angled differently, and they won't be able to stand properly. So you make sure you, that if if they if it doesn't sit flat, then you know that they're on the wrong side. But it's a very easy fix. Now you split it at the thrusters, and you rotate them around, and these become the arms. And you also lift them up, lift them up like that. Flip out the hands. And then you can bend them at the elbow. We're almost done. And you want to come around the back and there's this fin. Be very careful with this fin. This fin is insanely sharp. I actually think I cut myself when I first got this guy. What you want to do is you want to pull this, you have to wiggle it a little bit, but pull it straight up. And that reveals the head. 
he's got this really cool space helmet dome deal, which is really cool. Um, the whole the guy really resembles like a whole like Mars Attacks '50s era spaceman uh, motif, which I think is really cool. Let's take a look at him compared to Cosmos. I totally didn't even transform him before. I did this so I forget how to transform him. This way. And then you flip out the arms and you pull up the head. There we go. That's G1 Cosmos. So as you can see, stand. Cool. Stay. You want figures are not meant to stand properly. Let's lift my camera up so I can get a better view. Ugh. There we go. As you can see, come on. There we go. As you can see, it is more of a an uh. uh of an homage than a direct copy like Braun was. The head is very on the G1 is more almost non-existent. You can barely tell it's even a face. You know, there's nothing molded in the hands, it just pipes and it's really not meant to be anything crazy. And you can see this guy's face is actually very cool. Um, you can also take the dome off. You can see his face a little bit better. The dome just pops on his two tabs on either side and just fits over there. But the problem is when you push it back in, it slides back down. So you got to pull this back up. Did it actually go on? No, it didn't. Damn it. Sorry guys. Does it matter which way it goes on? I don't think so. There we go. Come back up, head. Okay, sorry. Sorry, sorry everyone, sorry. Okay. So let's just take a look at him real quick with his gun, which I really dig his gun. His gun is totally 50 sci-fi era uh, laser pistol. Team got a little zap bray on the corner, on the side rather. That's really cool. I really dig this. Just plug that in. And there we have him in robot mode. Uh, a lot of people don't really like him. I don't know why. But I actually really dig him. I think he's totally cool. Um, and he just, I don't know why people don't like him, but I like him. I think he's really awesome. Uh, as far as articulation, his head's going nowhere. Unless you count up and down as an articulation. Shoulders are on this pivot. And a uh, ball in the shoulder. Very, very stiff ball. Same thing with the elbows. Wrists just go in and out as part of the transformation. Hips. Uh, waist uh, goes all the way around, ball jointed hips, ball jointed knees, and the feet uh, just pivot as part of the uh, transformation. So should you get him? I really really dig him. Just like Braun, I really wish he was a little bit smaller. Because you can tell he's obviously just a blown up. They engineered him to be smaller, and they just blew him up to uh, to make just to make him bigger. Um, the good thing about him and Braun is they're relatively inexpensive. I think they were like thirty nine dollars or thirty five dollars each, which is not bad at all for a third party figure of this size. Um, let me give you here's here he is with uh, grind rod as a size comparison. So I mean, Grindrod is a $70 figure. You know, let me straighten his legs so you can actually see him standing up straight up and down so you can get a better 
or I'll look at uh, height wise. So I mean, like I said, Grindrod's a seventy dollar figure. He is deluxe to Voyager sized. I would say he's a large deluxe to a small Voyager. So I mean. Again, that's the one problem with grind rod, is the feet don't sit flush with the floor. They don't sit flat. So, I mean, he's a little bigger than, I mean, his body's about half his size. But, I mean, he's totally, you know, the plastic quality is good. Everything's great about him. So, I mean, some of the smaller figures, like uh, Rager, are smaller than him. are half of this guy's size and the same price. So I don't know how they did it to make him, you know, the same price and bigger, but it's not a bad value. Hasbro's not going to give us this. They're not going to give us a toy of this size and this quality for 40 bucks. They would charge us 80 bucks because they're bastards. No, not really. Anyway, I'm rambling. So yeah, um, I suggest picking him and Hench up. Um, Hench is getting repaint as Bushwhacker soon. And they're coming out with Peach Comer and Gears. I'm getting those, so you'll be getting reviews of them too. So yeah, there we have. Oh, and also you're getting a, another review of him when the Reaper label set comes. Uh, I really dig his Reaper label set too. So you're gonna be checking. You're gonna be seeing that as soon as I get the uh, the set soon. So yeah, there is iGears UFO, aka Classics. Cosmos.